Have you heard that you have to pay to use the public bathrooms in Europe? Are you terrified that when you do, the door will open automatically on you and you'll be there for the whole world to see? There are a lot of rumors out there, so here's a few tips to help you use the bathroom and find them while you're in Europe. Oh, and stick around till the end, because I'll let you know just how long you have before the door opens up on you. The first thing you need to know is they don't actually say bathroom or restroom in Europe. They say WC, which stands for water closet, or toilet. Both of those will help you. So if you're out and about looking, look for a WC over top of the door. Then you'll know you found a bathroom. Now that you know how to ask for a restroom, you need to know that you're going to have to pay. More than likely, it's going to be about a year and a half. So try and keep some change on hand because some of them are honor system, some of them are credit card. Quite often, you're just going to wind up paying cash. Anytime that you're at a restaurant, anytime that you're at a museum or another touristy place, make sure you use the bathroom there. They're going to be free most of the time. European bathrooms are often quirky and small. The cities are old and while they're updated, they're going to still be very compact. If you think of a telephone booth for a bathroom, you'll be picturing about the right size. If you're big like we are, you're just going to have to count stuffing yourself into a bathroom as part of the experience in traveling in Europe. Another culture shock is that the bathrooms are all gender. And even if they aren't, it's pretty common that you'll see somebody of the opposite gender come in. You know, it's just common enough that they don't read the sign. It is a little strange at first, but you'll find that the bathrooms are incredibly private and the stalls go floor to ceiling so no one can see you. The only time you see anybody is when you're washing your hands, entering or exiting. One exception to this is the Netherlands. While we were there, we found public urinals. And when I say public, I mean incredibly public. There's a urinal out in the middle of the street and there are children playing right behind them. I hope this is what these are for. Otherwise we're going to jail. <laughs> Peeing in the toilet, what are you talking about? You good? One up on a bridge. Public porta potty. It's a big debate right now if the boys are going to use it or not. Guess they decided not to. Maybe it's because there's a lady present. I thought for sure nobody would use them, and I was wrong. I saw many people using them as we walked by. It's a little strange, and it's pretty easy to look away, but it's kind of like a train wreck, and you just can't believe what you're seeing. And don't worry, the people that are using them, they're completely comfortable with it and it's normal, so it's just more embarrassing for you. We were told that because they like to drink so much, they put the urinals out to help keep the canals clean. I don't know if it's true or not, but it makes sense to me. If you've heard a different story, leave it in the comments below. Now to answer your question, do the doors really open on you? Yeah, they do. The first time I went, I was actually terrified of this and I avoided the bathrooms at all costs. And then when I had to use it, I would try and keep it under 30 seconds because I absolutely did not want that door opening on me. It did not sound like a great adventure. You'll be happy to know that it never opened on me. And what's more, I found out that you have about 15 minutes before it's going to open you up to the world. What's really cool about these is a lot of them self-sanitize when you're done. So you know that every time you go to the bathroom, it's nice and fresh. That's it. Now you're ready to go traveling in Europe and you can find a bathroom. If you're looking for more travel tips, watch this video next.